welcome back to my channel so today I'm doing the boyfriend tag this is gonna be the blurred boyfriend tag you know exhibit a over here Bring the Kelly baby <laughs> so but yeah this is my boo right here what's up guys I know you know me as TG or Wizard Kelly but my name is Brian so you can call me Brian you guys can finally put a name to the face face to the name right something like that uh. <laughs> All right, guys, if you look in the description box below, we have a surprise for you. Me and Shanice are coming out with our own channel. It's going to be called Black Love Lives. That's B-L-A-C-K-L-O-V-E-S-L-I-V-E-S. -E Black Love Lives. So subscribe to that. We're going to be coming out with new videos, usually once a week. But since we're getting the startup going, we'll probably come out with a whole bunch of videos. So make sure you subscribe to that team. Subscribe to the ting. All right, let's hop right into this video. Whoop. Where did we meet? Okay, so we met via Instagram. That's where we met. You know, we slid, slid in the DMs. You know. <laughs> I, I think it was like she like liked flirt and we like like flirt. flirt. She like like flirt. I think it was she, him first. You know, hey, <laughs> I was getting them likes back. Where was our first date? I know this one. She don't know. I know it too. What are you talking okay. about? All right, go go ahead. It was at the marquee. Where at the marquee? The marquee when we went to the... More specific. The show, the improv. Okay, I was about to and hit you with the and, but that's right. We went to the improv for our first day. Do you know who we saw at the improv? No, I don't remember. You don't remember? No. It was Tom Green. What was your first impression of me? My first impression of Shanice was like, she looked like a little Pocahontas girl. That was my first impression. <laughs> gonna look like a Pocahontas girl? Pocahontas, yeah. Were you attracted to Pocahontas? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> My first impression of him was, man, he speaks some knowledge. I think that was, that was, when I, cause I used to go on his Instagram like, damn. Oh. Got a smart man right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> when did you meet the family? When she met my mom. No, when did you meet my family? When I met your family. I met her mom the first time I came to Toronto. First and the only time. Yeah, the first and the <laughs> only time. I'll be back this summer so she can stop all that shit talking. When did I meet your family? I have no idea because almost every time. Every I time think, she no, go it was down, like probably yeah. no, because it was probably like on the third visit when you're like, yeah, you can meet my mom exactly, now because yeah. I had to make it. She had to make the. She had to meet the. Uh, Run the little five k race first before she get me to. Yeah, I don't remember when, but it was like. A few I think times. it was, it was a th yeah, like the third, third right? Yeah. Do I have any weird obsession? If so, what? Uh weird obsessions. I don't think it's weird, but his obsession is friggin' football. And to me, it's really weird because we'll be in the car, he'll just have the radio playing football, this football, that football, foot, 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 foot football, everywhere. That's his obsession. Yeah, I don't know if there's so anything it's weird. It's like a job, but it's like a hobby. You yeah. Know? You gotta love what you do. I'm pretty sure she like all these Fashion Nova reviews and everything she do on her channel. I'm sure, pretty sure she like that. Shanice's weird obsession would probably be... Touching me all the time. There it is. There you go. I was about to. I couldn't think of nothing. I was gonna come on. Time. But she touches me all the time, man. Like molestation going on over here, man. But like sometimes I'm like, bro, stop touching <laughs> me, man. Cause I be like sleeping at night, and she like not only she want to touch me, put her arm around me, or the other hand is rubbing me, and she want to <laughs> throw a foot over me and all that. I'd be like, man, first off, I'm like, I got cold skin compared to hers. Her skin, and I that's just, what I like, the cold it's skin. It's way warmer than mine, so she hot as hell late at night when she trying to throw her heavy, her hot ass leg on me, and I'd be like, bruh, get your legs off me. Right, Sometimes I'd be like beefed up in her in the bed because she like, don't stop touching we me. We got it, I like cold skin. How long have we been together? Um, since November 29th, that's when we officially started going out, but we've been talking for a long time before that. Yes, so it's you. like almost a year and a half. Do you have a tradition with your girlfriend, boyfriend? Um, I know what I'm asking. I don't think we have a tradition, but what we do is we have like this memory box thing. Ah, you guys took your answer, didn't I? Mm -hmm. So pretty much whenever we go out somewhere like special, we do anything fun, 
like we put it into our memory box and yeah just so we can keep memories so, the memory box video comes soon yeah we'll probably do a memory box um, video so we can like go back and see everything that we done and just like share our experience and, like maybe put like clips in of things that we did and stuff so that should be dope and what was our first road trip our first road trip was san antonio right is that that comes yeah i guess I, i'll let you slide number nine what was the first thing noticed about me the first thing I noticed about Shanice had to be her hair. Like, I always was an advocate of, like, natural hair and all that. And I don't really like weed, even when she tries to wear it for convenience. I don't like it. So. The first thing that I noticed about Brian, I think, was it was also his hair. But it was in that funny stage, like, when he was growing it out, like, on Instagram. Oh. It was so funny. Like, it was, like, short, but I don't know. It was, you like, gotta go through the ugly stage of having hair, like, natural hair, before it gets, like, this long. Because I trim it at this length. But, like, when it was Kobe Fro style, man. Nah. It was hella awkward. But that was, the, that was the first thing I noticed. I can't lie. But, you know, it gave him some character. <laughs> <laughs> Number 10. What is my favorite restaurant? Oh, man. I don't know if I have a favorite. She don't have a favorite restaurant, but I will say that. So she's from Canada, she liked chilies. Oh yeah, I love chilies. Your favorite restaurant would probably be... Do you even have a favorite? You can name one. Uh, I'll see if you if you close. Cheddar's. Cheddar's is I. I like them honey butter croissants. Oh, I think I know. Hooters! <laughs> nah, man. Hooters counts. He only, wants to go to Hooters on every Mondays. Monday. Only on Mondays. But we ain't there today. It's like Popeye's on Tuesday. Hooters on Monday. Question 11, what do we argue about the most? Who? I argue with Shanice about little small stuff like what does she want to eat? Because I ask her what she want to eat and she'll be like, I don't care. But the minute I name something of what I want to eat, she'll be like, no, I don't want that. And I'll be like, make up your damn mind. That's a lie. That's actually a lie. Yes, it because is. if I don't have a taste bud or what, like my mouth is not calling for anything, then I just really don't answer. That's what I, I don't answer. I think that's another thing we argue about when I say I don't know or yeah she you know, never has a, a breakdown of why she thinks so he likes a breakdown of she'll everything never, she'll, she'll be like I don't know I don't know anyways who wears the pants in the relationship clearly I do <laughs> no I'm joking um I feel like he does but he has a soft spot for me so you know but yeah i feel like he he does but like you know i kind of get what i want well, what does that mean though? question number 13 if i'm watching tv what am i watching easy the walking dead bro this guy go oh wait oh wait, 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 wait okay if it's a tv show if it's a tv show the walking dead if it's just general tv football the freaking sports network whatever they are espn da, 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 da. what shanice is watching when she's watching tv is some freaking uh, man, like male chef, top chef, <laughs> or freaking house hunters with stuff that don't even make sense. What is one food that I don't like? You watch yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Anything green, okay? Oh, wow. He doesn't like vegetables. I like Doesn't smoothies. like lettuce. I doesn't like, like, he doesn't I, like. I'll drink it in a smoothie. He'll drink it in a smoothie, but nah, he just doesn't. Like vegetables and everything. Right, like on his plate, steak. you'll see macaroni, <laughs> mashed potatoes, and a steak. Ew! It looks like freaking shit. <laughs> what about watch me? Out, watch out! Like you don't like apple pie, right? Oh no. And like at Houston, we go to a place called House of Pies. If any of y'all in Houston, House of Pies have the best Dutch apple pie in the world, and she won't even try it. This guy said he did try it, but it was good. Like the crust be crunchy, you know. It's not that. like. It's just not, I don't know, it's not that I hate it, like I'll barf, but it's just not appetizing, nothing that I really want to eat. I don't know. What drink do I order when we go out to eat, if you get this wrong? So what he gets is, I don't know, because there's so much damn tea, so you get some type of tea, sweet something tea, I don't know what it's called. I'm talking, I'm talking like alcoholic. Tea. Oh, we're not, it's not only alcoholic. Well, what like drink do I order? Well, anyways, he gets some type of tea, and if it's alcoholic, he'll get 
rum. You get Crown and Coke. Like you say rum, I was gonna get it. Sorry, Crown and Coke. Crown and Coke is my drink. So if Shanice is getting something to drink, she's always getting the water. And if she ordered an alcoholic drink, she's gonna get uh, ginger ale and dark rum, always. Yes. And she'll sip on it for take an hour and 20 minutes to finish. One glass. <laughs> I let the ice melt and everything. <laughs> yeah, it'd be warm, alcohol in there. She'd still be drinking, sipping up. <laughs> what shoe size do I wear? 11 and a half. 11. What? I don't want no damn ten, 11 ten, and a half. Ten. I don't want no <laughs> 10, girl. 10 and a half. Yeah. 10 damn. and a half. Wow. Who, what nigga shoes you buy? <laughs> Shanice is like a five and, a five and six, depending on what type of shoe it is, right? No. Ding, ding, ding. No. What size? I'm a six and a six and a half. What I said is five. No, six, six to seven. Right, right. Six on. to seven. What is my favorite kind of sandwich. I don't know, but she loves them plastic sandwiches that Subway serve. That's all I know. <laughs> it's not plastic, and I prefer Mr. Sub, which we have. Yoga mat material. I prefer Mr. Sub um, <coughs> rather than Subway. We have that in Toronto, Slide Canada. Slide over to the right a little bit. The type of sandwich he would prefer, he doesn't eat sandwiches because <laughs> he doesn't put lettuce, tomato, up, any of that shit in yeah, there, okay? He doesn't. What is one talent that I have? Shanice can sing like a <laughs> He's lying. <laughs> so I'm telling you, if y'all ever got to hear her sing, she sings like an angel. Let's try. Go ahead, man. Keep you gotta do a duet with me. Hell no. Nah. Share my life. <laughs> Trust in me. You're all I want. What song is that, man? Everything that got Kim. me. <laughs> that's, Kim. that's him. Like, like, <laughs> wow, he's lying though. For real though. What's one talent that I have? A talent that Shanice have is editing videos. She cut the video up. One talent that he has is I feel like his personality is a talent. Like, bro, no, he's so charismatic. She just didn't answer that no, he's so charismatic that he can just meet anybody, like a random stranger, just anybody, and just connect with them instantly. And I'm just like, damn, like, I admire that. I wish I possessed that quality. And I feel like, yo, that's a talent. Good job, baby. Called him up, peace. Number 19, what would I eat every day if I could? If you eat something every day, it would be like no tasting ass avocados that she like. That is such a lie. Yeah. Like, where do you see me eating that all the time? That's a lie. So what would I say? Chipotle. She would eat Chipotle. I haven't even had Chipotle since I got here. But I could possibly eat it because it's a variety. But if I was to eat something every day, I don't know. You, if you can eat something every day, what do you eat? Hmm. <laughs> Those freaking Dorito bags, bro. Wow. <laughs> I thought you were going to say chicken or something. I would. You, you wouldn't eat chicken. But this guy, he runs through these chip bags like it's <laughs> nothing, okay? He eats like five chip bags a day, okay? And he literally just scars them down. He takes it off five, five fingers. Five chip bags a day. <laughs> to eat, okay, the little small ones. But to eat like um, one little chip, he uses all five fingers and goes... <laughs> That's what you do. Next, next damn question, please. <laughs> Shoot, wow. What is my favorite cereal? Oh, the damn Honey Nut Cheerios. They're not my favorite, but like, they are, they if are. I want a healthier choice in Frosted Flakes and Fruit Loops, then I'll get Honey Nut Cheerios. Oh. Rice Krispies? <laughs> I don't know what's that cereal. She just seen a cereal that's in the fridge and think. I actually favorite. have no idea what his favorite is. My favorite cereal, like from my childhood, and they recently put it back on the shelf, is the uh, Cocoa Puffs. We never Dracula. Never some damn Cocoa Puffs. In my Dracula. Life. Dracula. The one with the, the black. I don't know. Listen, we in the United States of America. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> my favorite series is the Fritz Toast. Oh, Punch. yeah. I know. Like, I knew it. I knew it. Fire. I remember. I knew it. Sorry. What is my favorite music? Um, This is kind of hard. I think his favorite music is like, I don't know what you call it. 
jazz? Yeah. Oh, jazz. jazz. The genre is jazz, yeah. Mm -hmm. See, I know you, baby. Mm -hmm. Shanice's favorite music outside of where we went Thursday, Chris Brown, is uh, reggae, reggaeton, whatever you call it. That is dance, totally dance wrong. Hall. That's so wrong. Oh, man, that's dance that's hall, wrong. Man. What's your Vinny, every time I'm in the car, yes. Okay. I always play R and B. Right. How'd you get that wrong? I'm just saying. You, you Caribbean. What is my favorite sports team? Like professional. My favorite sports team. Anywhere. Professional. Houston Rockets. There you go. I let that slide. That's cool. That's cool. But well, we got equality every team in the age. I ride for every team. Every Houston. team in the H, you know? Every team Is from this Houston. how I do it? Every team from Houston, Jim. What's my favorite team? The damn sorry ass Toronto Raptors. That's our favorite team. Uh, you could say that, but when Kobe was on the Lakers, it was the Lakers. Yeah. Or Allen Iverson. Uh, she gonna get this one wrong. But who is my best friend? Your best friend is me. Yeah. <laughs> How can I get that one wrong? That's a good ass answer right there. Am I your best friend? Yeah, I'll let that slide. Exactly. We accept that answer. What is something you do that I wish you did it? Oh my gosh. Yeah, who wrote that damn question? <laughs> Freaking watch any type of sports, right? Not really. Like, so that's something I can bear with. Me, my biggest problem with him is that he literally dashes everything everywhere. He leaves, he'll take out his clothes, come home from work, put it on the floor. He'll eat a bag of chips, leave it by the freaking couch. Cut the tape. Nope, nope, nope. It's really bad. So he literally just dashes everything everywhere. And I pick up after him. Why are your, why are your arm coming around? Man, <laughs> Shanice leave like bloody tampons on she a rag everywhere. She He's freaking lying. She, she you would not date me if that was the man. case. He's lying. Something that Shanice does that I wish that she didn't do, didn't do is take all damn day when I want to leave somewhere. Where am I from? She is from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Well, like, what's my background? And she is Jamaican and Guyanese. Boop, boop. <laughs> Whatever that was. <laughs> he is from Avis home, Houston, Texas, and he's African-American. But I... Low-key think he's a Nigel boy on the low. Yeah, I'm a Negro. What kind of cake would you bake me on my birthday? Damn. Lemon cake? Vanilla frosting or some shit? I don't know. <laughs> I would want vanilla. I just like plain vanilla, <laughs> vanilla cake. <laughs> I don't like icing. I just like the bottom. I the love cake. the icing. So I guess if I was to get you a cake, I will get you some tea cakes. Clearly. That shit don't count. <laughs> <laughs> Do I play any sports? Not no more. She retired. But uh, she played basketball and soccer and track. <coughs> Baby, good job. Um, does he play any sports? No, not anymore. But he used to play football and basketball. That's all I know. Uh, yeah, that's all she know. I did, I did it all. What can I spend hours doing? Um, watching football, anything football, talking on the damn phone, texting on the phone, all about football. That's what he could be doing. All damn day. Hey, and I love it. <laughs> what about me? She can spend hours looking at YouTube, watching other people's vlogs, looking at her vlogs, looking at Instagram comments, editing my vlogs, editing the videos. And I love it. And getting ready. The last question: If I could live anywhere, where would it be? If you could live anywhere, where would it be? I do not know this one for you. You would live right here in Austin, in Houston, in Tokyo. Hey, Houston, Texas. Oh, right? Houston. Ain't, nothing, ain't nothing like Houston, man. You got to got to rock with that. What about me, babe? If you could live anywhere, where would it be? L.A. No. You told me you wanted to live in L.A. I would like to see how it is out there. I don't think I would move there. Where you want to go? I want to live on an island, babe. On an island? Hell no, not 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 me. All right, guys, so that wraps up the boyfriend tag. You guys finally got to meet the man, my man. Make sure you look below, guys, and subscribe to Black Love Lives. It's going to be our new channel. Woo! You'll see all types of videos and shit. Yes. So we'll see you guys all in the next video. Toodles. My nigga.
Okay. No. I'm starting. Mm-mm. Babe. We're not starting yet. This is such a weird experience. I already pressed record. You have mutt in your eye now. <laughs> this is so annoying. What if I'm like hiding behind all your hair? You're not. You can literally see, but you can't be looking there. You have to look into the lens. Or I'm gonna flip the screen. <laughs> Man, come on. Come on. Come on. Take that shit off. Come on, let's get it. Let's get stop it. wasting my.